So welcome to the first Bootstrap 3 Extra tutorial. Uh, in this mini-series, we're going to be covering some of the things we haven't already covered in Bootstrap, uh, such as breadcrumbs, carousels, progress bars, badges, alerts, uh, labels, just everything in Bootstrap, well not everything, but most things in Bootstrap, which we haven't already covered in the tech site. So for those of you watching that series, uh, the tech site is now finished. Uh, we completely built it, built it. You can carry on from there. You can use that code. You do whatever you want with it. I'm happy for you to use that in your own site. But yeah, that is now complete because we've actually built that site now. So in this video, we're going to be looking at uh, breadcrumbs in Bootstrap. No idea why they call it this. But basically what it is, is it's going to have the top level, which is our home page, followed by like a second level, followed by the page we're currently on. Uh, it's kind of like a hierarchy of your site showing all the different struct like the structure of your site. This one is grayed out because that's the page that we're currently on. So these are links obviously, so a home page and then like a second level, then that's your current page. So hop into our code, this is a new file that I've got here, extras.htm. We're not going to be worrying about the index or read.htm files anymore, and we're not going to need the styles.css anymore either. So this is a blank page, it's just got all these starting points, so we've got our title tags and we've uh, for example, we've got our CSS's in here, uh, JavaScript, and jQuery. This code is in the description below on my website, so yeah, if you want to copy and paste it. So to start off, what we're going to do is create an OL, and inside here we're going to have LI. So OL stands for ordered list, and UL stands for unordered list, so before we've always used ULs. This one's an OL because it has to be in order. And then here what we're going to have is uh, coders guide. And this is actually also going to have a link around it. So a href is equal to hash. And we're going to put close it off over here. We're also going to add a class to this OL, as with everything in Bootstrap. And this is going to be breadcrumb. And then we can simply just duplicate this like three times. Uh, this one is going to be tutorials. This one's going to be web dev. And then over here, what we'll have is another li. And this one will say bootstrap. But this one isn't going to have a link on it because that's the current page that we're on. So this one is going to have a class equal to active. And this active class is just a generic class in bootstrap which can be added to pretty much anything to show that that's active. So now if we have a look here, so we've got codes, guides, tutorials, web dev, bootstrap. And that's, that's done. Some of the little things you can do is use the text center sorry, text-center, that class that will center the text as it says, and that puts it right in the middle. And this can also be surrounded by a container, just in a div class container. I'm not going to show you that because that gets messy with the indentation, but yeah, you can put it in a container if you want. So that's it for this video. Uh, it was quick. All these videos are going to be quick in this series, by the way. They're just going to be sort of uh, three, four minute videos, hopefully. So yeah, so thank you for watching, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.